Alrighty then, we are recording. Cheers, y'all. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you're old and you've already subscribed, welcome back. Um, So I kind of wanted to talk about drum loops and how you can have more control over them. As you can see, I have the original drum loop here, and then I have all these channels where it has the individual sound from the drum loop itself. So as you can see, I cut out the kick, the snare, the hi-hat, and any sound in between all of those sounds so that each sound has its own individual channel. So let me show you really quick how I do that and I'm gonna talk about why I do that in a minute. Okay, so I have my drum sample. In this case, it's a 90 BPM, something with the rim shot. I like to say that it has a rim shot because it's the reason why I picked the sample or whatever, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this at 164 cuts. And then what I'm doing here is I'm cutting each individual sound, whether it be a kick drum, a hi-hat, a snare, and then the, the air in between every one of those sounds. I go in and I cut right before and right after those sounds start and finish. And then what I do here is I duplicate it an extra three times on top of the original so that each sound is within its own channel. And then what I like to do is name each channel accordingly, obviously kick, snare, hi-hat, and then the air in between, etc, etc. So after I've gone and named all the channels, I like to go through each individual channel and take out what's not a part of that channel. If it's not a snare, don't leave it in a snare channel, etc. So after you've done all that, your loop should sound exactly the same as when you first imported it in, but now you have each individual sound within its own channel. Let's listen to the drum sample, what it sounds like before I chop it up. This is the sample being played after I've cut out each individual sound from it. sounds exactly the same but now i can go in there and turn down or turn up or add saturation or take some of the low end out of the hi-hats add some low end to the kick whatever you want to do to it you can do to it now because you have that ability now that you've cut each individual sound into its own individual channel it's not going to affect the entire loop as a whole and what i can do is each sound has its own channel so if i wanted to do add just saturation to the kick drum I can do that now because it has its own channel to do it too and then obviously once you're done doing all your plugins etc you can throw it all into its own bus and then you know glue it together with compression however you do your thing but another great thing about this is that you can actually take a kick drum that you like from this loop and you know add another kick right before the snare right after it however you please you can manipulate that drum loop in more ways than just chopping it into to section you know so now you've chopped it into sounds and you have that ability to add or take away from that loop i like to leave those sounds in between the snare and the hi-hat the kick i call it space air whatever you want to call it you want to leave that in there or else it's going to take away from the original loop sound but what you can do is you can take those sounds as well and add them where you want it you know if you take a, a kick out you can replace it with some of that air so that it keeps that same atmosphere going Another thing I like to do with this is that now you have the ability to control those hi-hats. If those hi-hats are too loud in that loop, you can turn them down now. Or you can add more hi-hats and turn some up, some down, give it that kind of velocity, bouncy feel to it. Or what I've noticed a lot in loops, the snares are always so ear-piercingly high because you have the ability now to individually turn down the sounds you can do that now without affecting the entire loop this is mostly some sauce for those new people those beginners that aren't doing it already this is that game for you guys to kind of get ahead of yourselves without getting ahead of yourselves i know there's people that already do this i feel like it's something that everyone should be doing every single time you use a drum sample loop because it just it gives you that much more freedom and it allows you to cut certain things out without affecting the entire thing as a whole so that's basically it. I hope y'all learned something from it. I'll leave y'all to it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Also, don't forget to follow me on Spotify as I've got some new music coming out this week. Y'all have a good one and cheers.